carbon finance is, a, is funding provided for projects that can deliver emission reductions. And so what happens is that when a project can deliver positive environmental impact, so that is monetized in terms of carbon credits. Carbon finance is a reliable source of revenue because once a project is registered with the reliable standards, they know they get revenues on a yearly basis and they can use this to sustain a project. So project implementers are able to kind of know that they have a sustainable revenue stream for their projects and that can help them in terms of scaling their projects as well as maintaining the projects and ensuring that they're able to expand even to other areas beyond what they had anticipated. For example, if you are registering a project under the gold standard, you will have to go through a very robust process, ensure that you follow certain methodologies and user data, ensuring that you're monitoring the project. You are you're also delivering the project beyond just the carbon credits. You are also providing like, employment and other SDGs and benefits. And through the process, you realize that the project becomes more transparent because the standards ensure that what you said you will do, you will do it. You can get upfront, upfront a contract where you're expected to deliver a certain number of tons of credits and then you get specified the amount of money per credit. So that is more reliable as compared to loans because when you get carbon finance, it's, you do not, the, the finance is not pegged on any sort of interest. Like there's no interest as compared to the loans that you get from the banks. Number two, for the project implementers that focus more on delivering more units, with carbon financing, you expect to deliver other co-benefits. And the thing about co-benefits is that we're able to work more even with the communities. On the other hand is that for some of these standards, like the gold standard, we're required to monitor not only SDG 13, which deals with issuance of carbon credits, but two other SDGs. At Climate Impact Partners, we've invested in various types of projects, ranging from database solution, sustainable infrastructure, and health and livelihoods. For example, across Africa, we've invested in projects like the Cook Stoves project that promote clean cooking, and then the Water Filters project. And also we've done projects that uh, do construction using sustainable materials. All these projects require different processes, of course, depending on the type of projects they are. However, the good thing is that at Climate Impact Partners, we have a very dedicated team in Nairobi office that does the technical review of the projects and they can assist implementing partners to understand more about what is required by the standards so that they can make their projects viable for carbon finance.